Kids, welcome back to the Curious Kid Cast, the show where we answer your wildest, weirdest, and most wonderful questions about the world around us. I'm your host, Andy, and today we've got a question that's going to make you look at squirrels in a whole new way. This question comes from Marcus in Oregon, who was eating lunch in his school cafeteria when he looked out the window and saw a squirrel burying something near the playground. Then, the next day, he saw the same squirrel dig up that exact spot and pull out an acorn. Marcus thought that was pretty impressive, considering he can barely remember where he left his math homework. Great observation, Marcus. So today's big question is, how do squirrels remember where they hide their nuts? And trust me, the answer is way cooler than you think. Let's dive in. Okay, so before we talk about squirrel memory, let's talk about why squirrels are burying treasure in the first place. Think about it. Squirrels are like tiny furry pirates except instead of gold coins, they're hoarding acorns. And instead of a treasure chest, they use, well, the entire park. Here's the deal. Squirrels need to eat all year round. In the spring and summer, food is everywhere. Berries, seeds, fresh plants, all that good stuff. But when fall and winter roll around, it gets a lot harder to find snacks. Most trees stop making food and everything gets cold and gross. Now, some animals deal with this by hibernating. Bears, for example, eat a ton of food, get super chubby, and then sleep through the entire winter. But squirrels? Nope. They stay awake, which means they need food. Lots of it. So what do they do? They practice something scientists call scatter hoarding. That's a fancy way of saying they hide food all over the place instead of keeping it in one big pile. Smart move, because if another squirrel or a sneaky bird finds one stash, they don't lose everything. It's like not keeping all your Halloween candy in one spot in case your little brother finds it. And get this. A single squirrel can bury up to 10,000 nuts in one year. That's like if you had to remember where you put 10,000 pieces of candy. Good luck with that. So how do they do it? How does a squirrel keep track of thousands of hiding spots? The secret is in their brain. Specifically, a part called the hippocampus. Now, I know what you're thinking. Andy, what the heck is a hippocampus? Is that like a hippo that goes to college? Close, but no. The hippocampus is a part of the brain that helps with memory, especially remembering places. It's like your brain's GPS. Here's where it gets really cool. Scientists have discovered that squirrels who spend their whole lives hiding food actually have a bigger hippocampus than squirrels who don't. Their brains literally grow bigger to help them remember stuff. It's like how your muscles get bigger when you exercise, except this is brain exercise. So every time a squirrel buries an acorn, it's creating a mental map in its head. Okay, this one's by the big oak tree. This one's near the rock that looks like a potato. This one's by... That weird human who always eats sandwiches on the bench. But it's not just about having a good memory. Squirrels use all kinds of clever tricks to find their nuts later. Let me break down their strategy. Trick number one, landmarks. Squirrels use big objects to remember where they buried stuff. They might hide an acorn next to a tall tree or near a big rock or by a patch of bushes. It's like when you tell your mom my backpack is by the couch, except the squirrel is telling itself my acorn is by the thing that looks like a tree but smells like dog pee. Trick number two, super smell. Even if they don't remember the exact spot, squirrels have amazing noses. They can smell nuts buried under several inches of dirt or even snow. So sometimes their brain gets them close and their nose does the rest. It's like a two-part treasure hunt. Trick number three, organization. Some scientists think squirrels organize their food by type. Like, all the acorns go in one area, all the walnuts go in another area. That way, when they want specific snacks, they know where to look. It's basically like organizing your toys, except way more impressive because squirrels don't have toy boxes. Trick number four, practice. 
Baby squirrels aren't born knowing how to do this. They have to learn. They practice hiding food, practice finding it again. And over time, they get really good at it. Just like how you practice riding a bike or playing a video game. Here's a funny secret. Squirrels don't actually remember every single nut they hide. In fact, they forget a lot of them. I know, I know. After all that talk about their amazing memory, it turns out they still forget stuff. But here's the thing. This is actually good news. For the forest, anyway. When a squirrel forgets about a buried nut, that nut can sprout and grow into a whole new tree. So squirrels are basically accidental gardeners. They're planting forests without even trying. It's like if you forgot where you put your apple seeds, and then a year later, surprise, you have an apple tree in your backyard. So even when squirrels mess up, nature wins. Pretty cool, right? Researchers have done some really clever experiments to figure out how good squirrels are at remembering. In one study, they gave squirrels a bunch of nuts to bury in a field, and then later, they watched to see if the squirrels could find them. Turns out, the squirrels found way more of their own nuts than if they'd just been digging randomly. So yeah, they're definitely using memory, not luck. But here's my favorite part. Scientists also discovered that squirrels use something called deceptive caching. That's a fancy way of saying squirrels lie. If a squirrel thinks another squirrel is watching, it will pretend to bury a nut, but actually keep it in its mouth. Then it runs off and buries it somewhere else when no one's looking. That's right. Squirrels are sneaky little con artists. They're out here playing mind games with each other. Honestly, that's the level of drama I expect from a reality TV show, not from animals in the park. Even with all their tricks, squirrels have to deal with some serious challenges. Challenge 1. Snow when winter comes and snow covers the ground, it's a lot harder to see where things are buried. But luckily, squirrels can still use their super smell to sniff out nuts under the snow. Challenge 2. Thieves. Other animals, like birds and other squirrels, love to steal buried food. That's why scatter hoarding is so important. Spread out your treasure so the thieves can't get it all. Challenge 3. Forgetting. Look, even squirrels aren't perfect. Sometimes they just forget. Maybe they got distracted by a cool leaf or maybe they saw a dog and had to run away. It happens. Not all squirrels hide food the same way. There are lots of different species, and they all have their own strategies. Gray squirrels, the ones you probably see in parks, are the kings of scatter hoarding. They're the ones burying acorns all over the place. Red squirrels sometimes prefer to keep all their food in one big stash, which scientists call larder hoarding. It's like having one giant pantry instead of hiding snacks in different rooms. Ground squirrels might dig burrows underground and keep their food inside. It's basically a food storage unit in their home. Each type of squirrel has evolved to fit its environment. Nature is wild like that. All right, let's hit you with some rapid-fire squirrel facts. Squirrels don't just eat nuts. They also munch on mushrooms, berries, and even bugs sometimes. Their front teeth never stop growing. That's why they're always chewing on stuff. They need to keep those teeth filed down. Baby squirrels are called kits or kittens. Yes, kittens. Like tiny, fluffy, nut-obsessed kittens. And our last fact. Squirrels have been around for about 36 million years. That means they were here way before humans. They've had a lot of time to perfect their nut-hiding game. All right, curious kids. It's time to test your squirrel knowledge. I'm going to ask you three questions. Try to answer them in your head, and then I'll tell you if you're right. Ready? Let's go. Question one. What part of the brain helps squirrels remember where they hide their nuts? Is it A, the cerebellum, B, the hippocampus, or C, the medulla? The answer is B, the hippocampus. That's the part of the brain that acts like a GPS for memory. Question two, how many nuts can a squirrel bury in one year? Is it A, about 100, B, about 1,000, or C, up to 10,000? The answer is C, up to 10,000 nuts. That's a lot of digging. Question three, true or false, when squirrels forget where they buried nuts, those nuts can grow into new trees. The answer is true. Squirrels are accidental forest gardeners. Thanks, squirrels. So what can we learn from squirrels? 
First, our brains can adapt to what we need. Just like squirrels have bigger memory centers because they need to remember hiding spots, we can train our brains too. Second, using tricks like landmarks and patterns can help us remember things. It's why you might remember your house by the big tree out front, or why you keep all your art supplies in one drawer. And third, sometimes mistakes can turn into something good. Squirrels forget nuts, and forests grow. So maybe next time you mess up, something cool might come out of it. So there you have it, curious kids. Squirrels remember where they hide their nuts using a combination of brain power, landmarks, super smell, and clever organization. They don't remember everything, but that's okay. Because forgotten nuts help new trees grow. Next time you see a squirrel running around in the fall, just imagine the incredible mental map it's building in its head. A secret treasure map of hidden snacks to help it survive the winter. Even the smallest creatures have big, clever brains. A huge thanks to Marcus in Oregon for this awesome question. If you loved this episode, make sure to share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode of the Curious Kidcast. If you've got a question you'd like answered, maybe something about space or animals or why pizza tastes so good, or head over to our website at CuriousKidCast.com and send it our way. We might just answer your question next. Until next time, stay curious, stay awesome, and keep asking questions.